It's the first distinguished lecture series of Unilag Mass Communication Alumni Association taking place at the Afe Babalola Auditorium, Akoka, Lagos. Present here are students from various departments as well as other distinguished guests. The event begins with a welcome address by the president of the association, Chief Losio Mokodion, who takes us through the vision of OMCAR. The distinguished lecture series shall be an annual event that will be used to refocus the media on their pivotal role as the fourth estate of Rev and be reminded of the time on all saying that the pen is mightier than the sword. By chairman of the occasion, Professor Wali Omoli gets the coast clear for the keynote address, which is on mass media, setting the Nigerian agenda to be delivered by the chairman and chief executive officer of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo. Let me just say that media attention can shape public opinion, governmental attention, and public policy. Without media attention, policy needs generally have slim chances of garnering public endorsement financial support or legislative action. So if media attention is important, I mean really, really important, as I've made it, the question there then is, by which mechanism does media attention get distributed such that some stories get, to the, get the five star treatment while others receive a scant amount of front page coverage, or in most cases, no coverage at all? He brings the lecture to the point where the panelists take time to sink their teeth into the day's discourse. So I think what the media should do is to try and be in cohesion, a central value system that can be applied to the entire nation in Nigeria. The submissions continue with professors Raf Akinfeleye and Wali Omoli. It appears to me that the media who are supposed to set the agenda, some of them, who are supposed to be great watchdogs, they are no longer doing the work of watchdog in my dear chairman. In fact, many of them have been infected with rabies. And therefore, they need anti-rabies. We should be the ones setting agenda. We should, it is our own agenda. It's our own country. We own the land. And we have responsibility. What have I come to this world to do? The first in these lecture series may have come and gone, but the lessons remain, but it is expected of the media professional to live above board, irrespective of who pays the piper. Chris Elams, Channel's Television News.